Welcome to West Sussex, the sunniest county in the UK. Yes, you heard me right. West and East Sussex hold the 29-year record of the sunniest place in the UK. West Sussex has a long history of human settlement dating back to the Old Stone Age. The county's beautiful countryside, quaint villages and historical landmarks offer a serene escape from the bustle of modern life. From the tranquil shore of Chichester Harbour to the majestic Southern National Park, West Sussex offers a diverse range of outdoor experiences. While East Sussex may often get more tourist attention, with its lively attractions like Brighton and the iconic Seven Sisters, West Sussex offers a more peaceful environment. West Sussex can be a great destination for a day trip or even a weekend getaway. If you are planning a visit and not sure where to go, keep watching. In this video, I'll take you on a journey through some of my favorite spots in West Sussex, helping you plan an unforgettable trip to this county. Arundel is one of the most picturesque towns in southern England. It is mostly known for its two stunning landmarks, Arundel Castle and Arundel Cathedral. This small town with a population of 3,000 people has been named one of the best places to live in the country. It holds a rich historical legacy. In the past, Arundel served as a bustling market town and crucial inland port. Without any doubt, the main attraction here is Arundel Castle, one of the most beautiful castles in England. The history of Arundel Castle dates back to 1000 years ago. It was built at the end of the 11th century. During the Civil War, the original castle was badly damaged, but some of the original features such as the Norman Keep, Medieval Gatehouse, and Barbican survived. In the 18th and 19th century, Arundel Castle underwent a transformation, nearly rebuilding the entire structure in Gothic style, what we see today. Arundel is only 65 miles away from London. The most convenient and common way to get here is to drive. There is a car park behind the castle where you can park for the entire day for just five pounds. Just a short drive from Arundel and 10 miles west of Brighton, Worthing is one of the most beautiful places to visit in West Sussex. Plus, Worthing has earned the distinction of being named the best seaside town to move to in 2023. While once known as a peaceful retirement heaven, Worthing has undergone a vibrant transformation. The town now has an array of cocktail bars, boutique shops, and art galleries that breathe new life into its streets. Worthing officially earned its town status at the turn of the 19th century, a distinction attributed to Princess Amelia, the daughter of King George III, who chose the town for her holiday retreat. The main attraction here is Worthing Pier, dating back to 1862. You will find a long pebble beach on both sides of the pier, a great place for relaxing or water sports. Worthing has a laid-back vibe and gets fewer tourists than its more popular neighbors. If you are thinking of moving to this seaside town, you should know that the average house price here is around £370,000, making it significantly cheaper than London. Horsham is a historic market town located only 31 miles south of London. This town might look modern, but it dates back at least to the 10th century. The first written record of Horsham was in 947 AD. Centuries later, the Doomsday Book of 1086 mentioned it as a large village, and by the 13th century, Horsham had grown into a small town. Initially, Horsham was famous for its horses, but as time went on, the town's main trade switched to tanning leather and brewing beer. Nowadays, Horsham is a vibrant town and home to an array of trending restaurants, bars, cafes, and shops. One of the best things to do in Horsham is stroll around the town center. You will find so many cute narrow alleys. 
One of the most beautiful streets here is the Causeway, where you find historic houses and buildings. And at the end of the street, you can visit St. Mary's Church. If you are here on Saturday, make sure to check out Horsham Market, where you will find local produce, products, and a great selection of takeaway food and drinks. The historic town of Standing shines as one of the most picturesque towns in West Sussex. Located against the stunning backdrop of South Downs, Standing's history goes all the way back to around 750 AD as St. Cotman's Town. This rich past is wonderfully kept alive through its architecture. The old high street feels like a time machine, with charming timber frame buildings that give us a glimpse into what life used to be like. Long ago, Stenning was an important port by the river Adur. The Normans really liked it, and you can still see their influence in the big church and old castle ruins nearby in Bramber. However, Stenning offers more than just history. It's a great place to visit. There are plenty of boutique shops, restaurants, pubs, and cozy tea rooms. For those who enjoy outdoor activities, Stenning is also a fantastic destination. It is known for welcoming walkers. You can easily get to the stunning South Downs and start your adventure from here. There are simple walks by the Adur Valley or more challenging ones on the South Downs Way. Midhurst is another pretty market town in West Sussex, surrounded by the South Downs. Midhurst has wide streets with a good sense of space, striking buildings, unusual shops, and interesting history. It is still under the radar of many travelers. Many people visit the nearby Chichester or go directly to the coastal towns. But if you want a more authentic English charm, you need to explore Midhurst. The town is indeed one of the most underrated tourist destinations in Sussex. While strolling through Midhurst, you'll likely notice that there are many houses with yellow painted window frames and doors. This distinctive color scheme indicates that these properties belong to the Caudray estate. The choice of yellow traces back to the first Viscount Caudray, who had strong ties to the Liberal Party. Having served as an MP for Colchester between 1895 and 1910, there is plenty to see and do in and around Midhurst, and the countryside around the town is extremely beautiful. The Rotter Valley and the nearby South Downs offer countless opportunities to find peace and quiet. Keep in mind that the public transport options are limited, and the most convenient way to visit Midhurst and surrounding areas is by car. Amberley at the foot of the South Downs in the Arun Valley is without a doubt one of the prettiest little villages in Sussex. If you never heard of this small village, take it as a good sign and consider it as a hidden gem in West Sussex. It is located in the South Downs National Park and it is a great place for a day trip. If you love outdoor activities and walking, Amberley is your place. There are many trails that lead from the village, including a stretch of the long distance walking route, the Monarch's Way, which runs alongside the River Arun. The South Downs Way, a recognizable national trail, also passes very close to the heart of the village. It is a popular route for walkers and cyclists alike. The village by itself is pretty quiet with picturesque hatch cottages. There are a couple of country pubs and a tea room in the village serving food and drinks. Amberi Castle and Amberi Museum are the main attractions here. Chichester is the only city in West Sussex and one of the most charming cities on the south coast. Chichester is just the right size to explore in a day and the best way to discover its long history is on foot. It still has its original Roman street plan and the pedestrianized city center is neatly enclosed within the ancient city walls. Chichester is a lively city with a large selection of shops, restaurants, cafes, and bars. 
One of the main attractions here is Chichester Cathedral, which was built in the 11th century. The good news is that you can visit the cathedral free of charge. From the cathedral, you can head over to the Bishop Palace Gardens, which are very quiet and a lovely spot to read books or rest. Just four miles from Chichester city center, you will find Chichester Harbor, a center for sailing and wildlife enthusiasts. This large natural harbor is one of England's designated areas of outstanding natural beauty. Even though Chichester is known for being a sailing hub, it is a great place for a day out with miles of public footpath and designated cycling paths. Bosham is one of the oldest and most picturesque villages in West Sussex. This coastal village has a long and interesting history. Bosham was an important medieval port in Chichester Harbour, one of the only three places in the harbour where wine could be landed. Some historians believe that the Danish king Canute lived here, and his eight-year-old daughter is buried in Bosham Church. He was the king who tried to stop the tide from rising. Basically, he sat on a chair on the seashore as the tide was coming in. Then he commanded the waves to stop rising, and obviously the sea came up as usual and the king's feet got wet. Bosham is a popular place for sailing, canoeing, and stand-up paddle boarding. While in Beauchamp, make sure to check out the craft center, where you will find a wide selection of arts, crafts, and gifts produced by locals. And there you have it, a glimpse into the charm of some of the prettiest towns and villages in West Sussex. If you are looking for more inspiration, make sure to check out my video about the top places to visit in East Sussex. Same as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.